welcome to the Gosi's show with me, Michael Sanders, and my lovely Gosi of the day is Mila Somatova. Thank you, guys. Now, Hi. Mila is from Russia, but originally Moldovian. Yeah. And tell me about that. <laughs> you were born in Moldova. Your parents, the reason why we're saying this is that I started the recording, but I didn't start the recording because I didn't press the bloody record button. It has happened before. But we yeah. caught it maybe two minutes in. So we're going to have a brief recap. Yeah, a, re a really fast thing. A because, fast, you know, efficient recap. Yeah, so Go I was it. born in Moldova, but then I was five years old. I moved with my parents to Russia. So, but till my teenagers age every summer, I back to Moldova for the summer holidays. Right. So Why did that stop, by the way? <laughs> Why did you stop visiting your grandparents in Moldova? Because after um, my life is coming faster, you know, after the teenage right. year, you're you not, you not interesting on these boring summer holidays mm. at the countryside. Yes. You are mostly so social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's what happens. And to be honest, I wasn't there the last five years. Okay, you haven't been back at all. I want to I wanna visit it because I have a lot of relatives there. Okay, great. Yes, of course, so, your family. So basically, the potted history was of your family was both parents were born there. Yeah. Your father had a bit of a Russian in him. And to seek their fame and fortune, or a better way of life anyway, than what was offered potentially in Moldova, they moved to St. Petersburg in Russia. Yeah, true. And Mila actually wondered what her life might have been if they hadn't made that all important move for more opportunity right that you thought that your artistic inclinations were probably better served in russia um i think yes because you know that the place there are you living it's influence on you right yes so and you see all around of you it's how to survive how to thinking about this, how to help to your parents with the domestic stuff, with the farm, with the, all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. You have no time to thinking about art or mm. kind of this stuff. You know? So how old were you when you decided that art was of an interest to you at all? Um, do you consider, first of all, do you consider yourself an artist? Uh, it was science, I was born. Was born like this. So at first I just like the color book mm -hmm. and I like to color it. I even ask um, all my family to buy me a new one because I color it so fast. Right. So yeah, and for me it was interesting this. So and till the 20, 20 years old, yeah. Um, I draw only like by myself and after I told my mom that I want to go to the art school. So it was my decision. I was 12 and... That, was that young to go to art school? Um, it was a little bit all day, I think. Because usually people go to the art school like when I was seven years. That's seven years uh, old? Yeah, but it was kind of a long education like you are kind of the plus classes you know that I then see. you're going after school okay yes extracurricular yeah like this from about the age of seven there are art art classes for children available in st petersburg yeah, yeah okay like this. now do you consider yourself essentially a st petersburgian uh, do you have the character do you have yeah, the outlook yeah for sure now what does that mean um how would you characterize that I can say that uh, people who uh, don't know my background and just know me first, they are sure that I'm from St. Petersburg. Because uh, you know that people almost compare the St. Petersburg and Moscow. Yes, of course. So because uh, Moscow like is a business city and mm -hmm. St. Petersburg it's mostly their soul and art. Mm. So, and people in St. Petersburg, they are more slowly, they are just... Mm, Less aggressive? Mm, it depends on the person, I think everywhere mm, could sure. be aggressive. But I can say that the atmosphere of this city just 
influence on the mind. I agree. Because you know that you are living in such a beautiful place yes with the, all of this italian architecture's style yes and you can see the big uh, museums and all information are open for you so and you are living in it so why to not mm. keep it to you so it's why and in my school, I have a great possibilities because our teacher, every weekend, we go to the museum and it was for free. Uh, she just want to put... Art on you, into art, you. Art, yeah, yeah, for, for all... Um, all of you, the whole class. The all, yeah, pupils, but some were are interesting, some not, so... No, and you were. Kinda, yeah. Um, so what was influencing you at the time? What was the art that that transformed and inspired you? I can say all that I see can inspire me. Like now I'm do modeling. So I see at my works how the modeling shows in my art. So they start to be most of the fashion sketches. Okay. Um, you were always a, an illustrator, a, a drawer. I also do the paintings okay. and also the ink stuff graphic. Who's your favorite artist of um, all? Uh, I can say that how I meet one artist it was the Thomas Ode. He's okay. from Switzerland. And uh, when I was a teenager, I was so interesting about the comics. And and after I just find his book and I was super impressed about it and after uh, I would go to one club and I see him in this club in St. Petersburg you recognized him yeah I recognized him he's local um, you said club? he's Swiss Swiss yeah and what I what was he doing in St. Petersburg he have his own like a festival comic book something like oh, this wow. and he invited me to this festival it was super cool and after you met him yeah, you then, approached him. I met him in person. You went up to him. Yeah, right. And what did you say? I uh, just say that at this time I have the project that I uh, do the picture of the um, personality of people and I see the tattoo on his arm. It was uh -huh. a snake. And I just interview him a little bit like you. Ah. So, right there and then? It was at the um, bar. At a bar? So there, just this. And of course he can tell me that, sorry, I have no time to speak, I don't know you, and it's kind of this, but he was open. And I take a picture of his tattoo, and after he invited me from this um, comic festival and bring me his book. Wicked. Yeah, and give me some tips about art. Nice. Yeah, we meet uh, each other after at the cafe and he gave me some... That's so fantastic! Little... Yeah, and it was really influenced to me because I'm thinking that people who are just upper and they are never speak with the... You put him on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah. You were idol worshipping this man. It was really <laughs> influenced to me and I was like... Wow. So yeah. it was, he was nicer than you expected him to be? Or was he, he was better than you imagined? Uh, <laughs> I had that some image about him, like in person. I just looking at his, his art. work. Yeah, yeah. And I was twenty years old, and I, I just was a little bit frustrated. What to do um, to complete my education? I'll do the modeling, so I'm just coming like this. Uh, and he just gave me the nice impression and power. To do it, to keep doing it. Yeah, to keep doing art and to try modeling too, because all limited in all in our minds, mm. so just like this. Is that a philosophy of yours? Uh, I think yes, because most people uh, just um, wanna see the fast result. They don't wanna work hard for some works that will give them the most success but they wanna the fast success all all our life is just so super fast like fast food fast emotion fa all, all super fast and, and faster yeah and faster. it wasn't that fast in my day <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> for your generation, yes, things have sped up exponentially. But yeah. back in my day, still things felt a bit slower, I must say, growing up in England. Okay, what kind of child were you? Child? What kind of child were you? How, who, um, who were you as a little girl? I was not so popular in school. <laughs> you weren't? Yeah, I was. And I was super strange. You were strange. You were the weirdo kid? Um, not about this. I was strange because uh, I was not social. And you were shy? I was shy and I was super interested in art. Yeah, and all Intr my... introverted. Yeah, yeah, like this. Uh, but the people of my age don't feeling you didn't have much in common yeah and it's why uh every time my friends was much older than me i see so yeah and this tendency it's keep going <laughs> so you have older friends even today <laughs> yeah they, that kept going um you weren't sporty were you always drawing or were you were you bookish yeah. did you read I'm not super interested in Reading. books. Yeah, but after the 15, 16, I start to be interested in because I'm just interested to understand art better, not just drawing something, but understand about, the history of art. about another people who just tell it. So Yes. Um, okay, so what did your parents end up doing when they came to St. Petersburg? What did they, was their life better? Uh, it was a hard life at the, hard at the life. beginning. What uh, jobs did they find to do? What did your parents do as professions mm, growing mm, up? My, of course, in Russia, they can't uh, completely keep in this professional because my mom working with their children. Okay. A teacher? So, uh, not he... She like a um, not a babysitter, uh -huh. but an au pair. Ca kind of this. I don't know how to uh, say. A childminder. Like, like <laughs> this, like this. Yeah. She looks after children. Yeah, but in Russia, she needs some license for this. Or oh, some really? Kind of this. Okay. Yeah. So and he he had a sister. Uh, she just uh, was study in Saint Petersburg. It's why to move. To Is that this... why they went? Yeah, it's it's why they decided to move to this city because it will be more easier. And your father already had Russian. Uh... And my, uh, they divorced. Before they left. Uh, yeah. Before they left. Yeah, before. I so came. you went with your mom. Mom. Yeah, right. You were a product of a single parent family. As I was for a while, yeah. my parents split up when I was five. I went with my mum, as it is typical. Um, so, do you have a special relationship with your mother as a result? Did you do you get on with your mother? Of Let's talk about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I have more stronger uh, relationships with my mother, for sure. But you know your father. Yeah, I know my father, and now he's living in Russia too. Oh, wicked! So he stayed in Moldova. No, he moved to oh, Russia also. Too. To Saint yeah. Petersburg too. At first, yes, because she wanna, uh, he wanna. Uh, Can you get her back? Yeah, right. Your mom left him. Yeah, but it's his fault, so. He deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you have a good relationship with your father. Um, I can say that we understand each other, but we are not super close. Okay. Because all this uh, life just happens like yes, this. Yes, that's that right. And now he lives in the Ural Mountains. Wicked. Yeah. Is that wild in the Urals? Um, it sounds like it would I, be. I've never been there, but ah. he always invites me to come. You should go, man. Go check but out the Urals. It will be interesting, I think. Of course. Because it's a, it's like a minus, I don't know, 25 or more. It's freaking and, cold. Uh, yeah, there. And in the summer, it's not a lot like... 20 maybe in, okay um, oh wow okay so it's even will be interesting just totally. just to know how he living and yeah. why he now um, playing and talking and thinking like this because yeah. of the area that he live in was there an uh feeling that you were looking to know your father is was he an absent father was he someone you didn't really know that you wanted to get to know uh, or did you have enough contact with him growing up that you knew him well uh, I saw him uh, this summer so we talk about 
all, all this the time. time. No, that wasn't the first time you saw him. No, of course not. Okay. We, <laughs> oh, we, you, but you reminisced. You yeah, spoke yeah. about that. I, I talk with him. Of course, we keep in touch. Uh, touch, but not so often because of the distance, because yeah. of the different Yeah, life. he's in the bloody Urals. Oh, actually, no, you could FaceTime every day if uh, you wanted. Yeah, yes. it's, it's true. Yeah. So we keep... But uh, after the talking with him with this summer, uh, I just recognized myself in him. I think in that we have something super close in the fancy that nature. I think <laughs> fancy that you and, are your father's and, daughter. Yeah, and I see that he sometimes uh, know me better than my mom, but my mom lived with me all my life. Wicked. So I think it's something on the, I don't know, on the DNA. Yeah. For the genes, I don't it's know. It's in the genes. Do you look more like your mum or your dad? Dad. You look like your dad? Yeah. You think maybe a bit more like your father? I think my father was always more open-minded and crazy. Uh, he was the crazy one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So... You got your craziness from him? Yeah, because he was a musician then. He, he was, was a musician. Uh, yeah. So he was an artist. True. Right. There you go. So Say it's no why more. I have some kind of Of course, you're an artist. And then he was young. Uh, he just going to the friends to there. He, there. Yeah, yeah. And but my mom's still with me at home. Mm -hmm. So. So what is your zodiac sign? Let's talk about this. Aquarius. Oh wow! And so, your dad? Uh, he's. Um, how is it? He was born in the 22 April. That's so what's tricky, isn't it? Because it goes from one sign to the other, always around the 21st, 2nd or 3rd. We can check what is this. So he's going to be, he's going to be in a cusp. I have not internet here. Oh, shit. I can check. I'll check. <laughs> um, and your mum? My mum, he's a lion. She's a Leo like me. Yeah, Leo. I am a Leo too. You know Leo and Aquarius are complete opposites on the zodiac six months yeah. complete you cannot get two different people than a leo and an aquarian I do, I, my I, mother's an aquarian oh yes <laughs> it's not it's not it's not working it's not a good thing she drives me mad yeah but every every time <laughs> Bless her, so. we just do not see anything the same way yeah i then i grow up and I start living without my mom. Mm. So I see how she tried to... She was lovely. She was a Leo. She was lovely. How, 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 she, how she tried... I love to... your mom already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How she tried to influence on me, but now it doesn't Make you work. Make better. <laughs> but it doesn't work. And she thinking about Lion, Leo, I think she, they just tried to keep on the control. Oh, we're controlling. Oh, yeah, yeah. They we're slightly they controlling. Like it. They like it. We do like control. So, we like being boss. Yeah. A bit bossy, aren't we? So when my mom tried to keep, <laughs> keep it, but oh, it doesn't work. I know, Jesus. And Aquarians are so... The word is contrary. So you want... It's just a nightmare from Leo. Because you want them to do this, and they will do the opposite. Yeah. Because they're perverse, because you guys are so perverse. So you have to manipulate them by saying the opposite of what you really want them to do. So they will do the opposite and you'll get what you want. And can you imagine... But Leos can't actually do that because we can't manipulate. So it's fucked. Can you imagine what happens then I was a teenager? I can't even imagine the horror you put your poor, lovely Leo mum through. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's you talking like this because you are Leo. <laughs> I know. It's, it's I'm sure. very biased. I, I, I love Leo. Um, okay, let's Google this very quickly. Yeah. So we don't waste time. Twin so what's the... Uh, April 22. Google. April. Okay, 22nd of April. It's either... A, uh, oh, shit. What happened? Okay. 22nd... April star sign Taurus Taurus yeah all right I'm not super knowing about that neither do so I yeah. I don't know <laughs> what does it, mean? it doesn't mean anything but you're like your dad you're arty like your dad 
And did you think you were pretty growing up? Mm. What did you think of the way you looked? Uh, right now? So no, then. Then. Um, I think I've, I've never... You were cute. You were, so, I was, you were just so cute. <laughs> right? I, I think I was every time cute because um, yeah. I was just open. Yeah. I, I was unsocial, but I was kind. Even. Right. You're sweet. Uh, so, because my mom tried to put on me the right behavior and she... things and goals Good. and all things like this. Great. So, and I was super thanks for yeah. it to my mom. Uh, I think it's all her background about the working mm. with children. <laughs> it's working. Right, exactly. Her love uh, yeah. for children. So, and every time she told me that he just realized like her mother mm. because I have a sister. You do have a sister? Yeah. We didn't talk she, about this. She's eight now. Shit. So your mother yeah. remarried? Yeah. And what's your stepfather like? Uh, he, he, so I grew up with him, with my stepfather. Yes. I forgot. I'm sorry. sorry. This is a big <laughs> deal. Yes. That was the nuclear family in essence. As my mother remarried, and I had a stepfather mm -hmm. and a stepsister, that's a whole new family. You had a new man figure, male yeah, figure. Yeah, I was, I was nine okay. years. I was about eight. So, yeah, like this. And, of course, it was super... Uh, thanks for my stepfather, because he listened to the right music there. Yeah, right good musical movie. taste. Yeah, and all stuff like this. And what was it? Um, he liked all uh, the jazz. Wicked. So fun, like this. Like, oh my god. Like the Beatles and. He had all it all. This, yeah, like a Pink Floyd. Oh my god. All this classic Led Zeppelin. Oh my goodness. So yeah. he gave you a mu musical education. Yeah. It's That's best. so great. And at the right age, I can say. Because what was his name? Uh, his name is George, uh, Georgi. Georgi? He's like a George. George, mate, you did good. <laughs> yeah. Shout out maybe, to Georgi. Maybe, maybe he now. Georgi, if you're look, listening, okay, yeah. wicked job. Hey, my, my mom also has an Instagram, maybe he, she's... That would be amazing. But she doesn't understand. Uh, she doesn't know how to use it. Yeah. Okay. She but didn't understand English and... We're so grateful to Georgi for your musical education. Yeah, I can say. It's so important. It's true because uh, step by step by the movies, uh, music. Did you are... play a musical instrument? Uh, no, but then I was six. My father tried to push, Piano? push me on this uh, to play the guitar, no. the violin. Yeah, yeah, violin. But I was not so patient because I need to learn it, and yeah. I just ask why we will start to play. Why yeah, will... right. You didn't but... want to put in the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you wanted <laughs> instant gratification on the yeah, violin. Yeah, true. But then you are six years. Just you don't me. understand. You're much older and wiser yeah, now. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so how did this, how did this arty girl become a model? For now, for for right now. How old were you? I'm 23. No, how old were you then? Um, when I started. Yes, how did this happen? Tell me the, the just, journey. I don't know, it just happens. How did it happen? <laughs> you know that you just grow, you just interesting in kind of things and parents push you on the dance class here, there. Ballet? And you just don't interest in. And You're not interested in ballet? Yeah, no, but I dance in rock and roll. Yeah, then I then I was young. Then I was a Is that right? teenager. Yeah, because till the twenty, my mother tried to push me everywhere. But what is rock and roll dancing? Are we talking about the Lindsay Hop and those classic fifties rock and roll mm. dances, or are we talking? Yeah, it was kind of this. It was kind of the acrobatic stuff. Really? Shit! Real yeah, rock and roll, could... rockabilly kind of Come dance. Over... Yeah, yeah. It was That's fun. So... Is there a culture of that in, in St. Petersburg? I think it was just a group and was a teacher who are just was crazy about this kind of Is style. That right? Yeah, and he just uh, organized oh. the group. Wow. And Did you get into funk dancing? Uh, Later we, on, funk and soul and 
We we use kind of the elements. So oh. I was there just for three years. Dancing. And dancing, yeah. But all my kind of experience was uh, before I was 12. Mm. Because after then I was 12, I decided that I will... I want to concentrate it totally in art because you know you need to choose focus something yeah because if you try this that you will never win in all things I agree so yeah it's why science 12 I'm just doing art and that's amazing and that, nothing not, else yeah, yeah. nothing else I mean just not the music or yeah. kind of stuff like this sure so wh why were you so bad as a teenager were you naughty? Uh, yeah. Were you rebellious? I was... Um, it's better to ask my mom. <laughs> She'll say yes. <laughs> She'll say. What's your mommy's but, name? Uh, Maria. Maria, nice beautiful name. Oh, uh, yeah. So I have some... But you didn't consider yourself a, a bad teenager. No, I was not bad, but I have some mind that I was a 17, that I want to leave home, that I want to... Live by yourself? Uh, yeah, that I want to live by myself because I, I'm I'm older now, I can't can do it. Right. And you know that I had the first love in my life. You did at 17. Uh, it was the boyfriend that did it. Yeah, and he lived in the Ukraine in another city. How did you meet him? Tell me that story. Oh, by the internet. Internet? Yeah, it works. <laughs> Fuck. So when I decided then I want to come there and my mom... You fell in love with this guy over the internet? Uh, yeah, we talk like six months on the internet. On the internet, and the first he came to Saint Petersburg, and after it was the summer holidays, and I just wanna visit him. And my mom say, "Why you will go into another country? Oh my God, you she don't was know worried. him." Of course. He... Yes, of course, she was worried. But I did it. <laughs> you went there, or he came here. You I, went to I the have, Ukraine. Uh, yeah, I just called to my father, and he told me that. Oh, at, at the same time, I will go into Moldova by the car. So, and it just cross. It's closer, these countries. And he told me that I can pick up you at the St. Petersburg and we can come together. I say, wow, oh, it's going to be cool. And it was just... You did it. Happy experience, yeah. That's so nice. That's romantic teenage it's, Yeah, it's, love. Why, it's why my father uh, just open-minded and craziest about this so he support me on this and he did and your mom was distraught yeah. my mother doesn't know about it she didn't know about it yeah he, she does she know about it now no, now no, she, she know. and she just thinking that i'm with my father going to my grandmother ah. to moldova but and you were seeing your boyfriend yeah i seen the boyfriend what's his name uh his name is igor maybe maybe igor you still igor. in touch with igor uh, for that moment, no. But for not now, you're not in touch. Mm, yeah. Oh, wicked. But he follows we, you. We keep on the social, yeah? but we're not talking uh, so much for now. So how long did that love affair last? It's, it was like a summer love. Summer love. <laughs> but the first one, and, the, and therefore significant. Your first love? Uh, Maybe not. <laughs> no, it's, okay, it was the second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. For the sake of... Uh, of yeah. absolute <laughs> but i mean that this kind of was like a craziness stuff that yeah, I yeah, did. yeah yeah so right so you discovered boys at about what 16 17 no yeah. i was 18 okay 18, 18 like this okay um and okay so how did you get scouted if it, uh i started modeling then i was 16 and how did it happen a scout coming to me at the metro, the subway. Yep. So, but it was the local agency. Yes. So I have not a lot of the growing there and developed. So. Uh, but hang on. So, how? What was your uh, impression, opinion when you were approached? How did you feel? What happened? In Russia, I can say uh, it was five years ago or more, more than five years ago. Modeling was not so developed like like now so and that experience that i have at least two years modeling in russia it was totally not about modeling so it was kind of local stuff you know local shootings but it was not something big and i just thinking that modeling it's all about this 
So when so it was t- having people photographers take photographs of you. Uh, yeah. For money. It was for money. It was some fashion shows, local one in Saint Petersburg. Did you feel that this is what you were meant to do? That someone had spotted your beauty and appreciated your beauty and wanted to market your beauty and that you thought you could have a career being it's, beautiful in front of the camera? It was mostly not about the career because it was mostly about the fun because I was a 16, 17 and I don't know what I to do and mm. my parents told me that I need to go to the university and complete the yes. high education because it's important and yeah. modeling it's something like you will never know what happens yeah. so yeah and it's why I was in modeling like two years till uh, 18 and after I concentrated on the study on the education okay and what were you going to study history of art no. Uh, what were you going to do as your f- backup for art? What were you going to make money out of? Uh, I finished, I can say, I finished the public relationships. You were going to be a PR. So that I know a bit how to promote. And market. And, and yeah, and it's helped with, to me now to promote my art and to know people and okay. how to, you know, how to make the press kid stuff and right all kind of this can thing. i ask how a shy introverted person decided to have pr <laughs> <laughs> as their profession it's so opposite it's so social it's all social i mean it's ridiculously social isn't it just, yeah it's true but i just try to be better i just i just understand the World, value the world and that mm. this kind of stuff is so important for our days if you want to be somewhere you should be social yes However, you don't the want world it. is social even yeah, if you're not good at it even if you don't want it you still have to do it in order to get ahead in life yeah because it's, it's who you know so you need to know some people it's why and before this i finished the college the art of college mm-hmm. so in st petersburg and uh, after I just decided to go to the um, PR and about modeling did I you just, enjoy it when you were doing it in the, your first uh, experience of it in I joined the, I joined the art college uh, but the PR I have four years education there and about the third years I thinking that oh, oh my god it's not for me it's not about my nature to be super social and but i thinking okay i need only one year to finish it so i need to finish it finish it like this so the last one the, the last year was just to finish it but that time i knowing that i will keep my art so i just back to my art because every time i do this that and i just going through to the main stuff of all my life so i just come yeah. into art and modeling it was the last uh at the last year at the fall and just my friend she makes a beautiful test shirts for models her name is daria daria hi if you're watching me well done daria uh so and she just told me do you want to take some pictures just for fun? And I say, oh, Daria, you know, I'm not modeling now, so... You'd stopped? Yeah, I stopped since uh, 18 to the 22 years. Okay, that was done. Yeah, four years I didn't do modeling, so I just study. And she did some nice portrait of me and put it in uh, her social page. So, and some scout found me and asked her if this girl have an agency, mm, she told that no. And this scout just uh, texted me and I'm thinking, and at this time I finished my university, it was the September, so I finished at mm. the uh, summer. and. I really was super frustrated. I don't know what to do because I don't want to complete the 
PR and all kind of this advertising and modeling it was something that I want to try but I have not so good experience mm. maybe time is changing I try yes. again why not and, and I, time did change yeah for sure because the industry are uh, growing up too for years it's a lot absolutely and uh, I just worried that maybe I'm so old I'm 22 yeah. but maybe not to uh, yeah. try this so I have a lot of uh, scares about it and but the scout told me that not to be frightened yeah you're cool you are super like you're this, cool so like this. let's try now the um, time is changing mm. and designers are other people looking for the personality yes it's what you have yes try i said okay so i preparing all my documents and stuff and my first travel was for the fashion week in milan in the february this february yeah this february just wicked did it go well so yeah it was super nice experience at first that i can say because i start to improve my unsocial <laughs> yes. background you got out into the world again yeah because these four years i travel but it was like um traveling with my friends so it's not about mm. it's not the same no you didn't m so, have as many experiences uh, yeah um so this scout he put you with an agency Yes. And he put you with an agency in Europe originally? No, it's a Russian agency. A Russian agency. So and then they set you up with other agents. Yeah, they just see at me the potential. And we really talk a lot about how you see me because I'm just, I'm not 16 years old who just thinking about the mm. stars. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So just I ask really that show me the... Money? Yeah, no, <laughs> show me the full, um, like a full pictures. Uh, what, how you see me, how you want to manage oh, okay. me, yes, and all yes, stuff yes, like yes, this. Yes. Right. So, and after, I'm thinking, okay. So, and the things was going super fast. As they do. Yeah, and I can say, okay, if it's going well, well why to not complete it? Because at first when I saw it, I have some worried about how it will go and I'm just thinking that I will give myself like one year to see how the, mm. how it will be uh, so but now it's going well so I just keep going keep it going yeah so what do you want out of modeling now you're obviously doing it now so you it's working yeah what are your ambitions and goals at modeling yes do you know what they are are you are you aware of fashion and what you want to achieve in fashion particularly um i want to working like this that in the closest future i will have more time for doing art you want to bloody get over the modeling quickly make enough money <laughs> not to have to do it again so you could just about, not about this of course i want to complete modeling not only about the money because sometimes it's a great opportunity to meet a nice people like definitely you. definitely and yes, i agree and of course modeling and art and cinema and all stuff like this it's so closer yeah because now i keep going my project what is your project it's a musical project it's a jumpy band it's a local group musical from the St. Petersburg. You're a rock. You're an art rock so, woman. Uh, Is it rock? It's it's not a rock. What's jumpy? It's jumpy. Uh, jumpy. Jumpy. What is that? Um, so our politic is be quiet now. So it's kind of our. It's political. Yeah, it's, it's political. It's kind. Oh. Of, it's kind of our promote promoting stuff. So. Uh, we are not put a lot of information about all stuff, so we just did um, maybe you saw the our first musical clip. Oh, okay. So it's on Instagram. Uh, yeah, link in bio. <laughs> I put the link. Link in the bio. In I will. Bio. I'll check it out. Okay, so you had a, a concert, a gig. So I'm I'm in this project. I'm like an art director okay so and 
I recognize my PR yeah. uh, background, so I use it to. Okay, so you're not the lead singer of a band or anything like uh, no, that? No, 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 I'm just doing the art there and doing some of the illustration mm -hmm. for, the, for our project too. Oh, cool. So I create the image of the clip because it's half the animation. Okay. And half the video, so the animation stuff, I created the video I see. images. Was it enjoyable? So, Do you love it? Is yeah, I love it a lot because then I have the free time at modeling. Uh, I was at the trip and all this, so I, I'm not. I, I wasn't bored because oh, I have a free time. I don't know what to do. I every time you have something have, to do. I have something to do. Have something to thinking about the promotion stuff about yes. the, about the future project because we have it. So and now we are wanna put this um, musical video to the animation festivals okay, and wicked. to the music festivals too. Right. So we will see. We hope to. So how did you meet this band of other creatives? So I have a um, husband. You got married. Uh, yeah, this summer. Congratulations. So thank you. And he's the main. He's the uh, art of this man. project. Mastermind. Yeah. So he composed the music. Oh, okay. And also, so it's kind of... So were you in we love before? together. Before. Yeah. You were in love before, before you created the art together? Or were you creating the art together and then fell in love? Which came first, the art or the man? The love coming first. The love came first? Yeah. Okay. So, but of course, if we are, will not be the What's his artistic... Name? Sergei. Is Sergei? That's Sergei. as Russian as it gets, right? Is there more yeah. of a Russian name than Sergei? I would venture not. It's typical Russian. I it's think. a typical Russian name. Yeah. So Sergei is a fine artist. Yeah, he's a musician. Oh, he's a musician. Is he watching now? Oh, he is not on social. He's not social. That's so perverse. <laughs> so you married your dad. Uh, so we <laughs> <laughs> In other words, you've ended up with a mu crazy musician artist. Uh, so <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe I think maybe I'm just feeling that I will not be married on the person who are not understanding my art mm. and who are not you need just, another crazy artist to yeah, understand yeah, you fully to, to, to make something mm. big I think yeah great so, so what's married life like how long have you known each other before you got married Three years. Three years. Great. Perfect. So, yeah. And the modeling start and crush all our happy family life. It did? I mean that... Yes, of course, because you're away and you're working. Yeah, because we are not um, seeing each other. As much. So often. Yeah. But and that's a stress. It's stress, but we have one in common, this project. And it's not only just a project, it's our... Uh, baby yeah and really it's the things how we are feeling the life and yeah. what we are thinking yes. about all of everything oh everything yeah so and um, if somebody comment our video on just sharing or we are on call just see something you on youtube yeah yeah we are on youtube and we really just appreciate how people respond uh, give the feedback about it because we just upload this video uh, yes one month ago and okay and it's doing well it was, yeah are you cooler because you're russian and because fashion has really taken up the russians with gosha rubchinsky and demna and uh, that whole wave of russian fashion so is that that's helped? That's part of the the the. Are you is there safety in numbers? You're part of a larger creative generation out of Russia. Um, I think uh, that even if this um, movement, if, with event like Goshrubchinsky will happen or not, it will not influence for me okay. like, like an artist. Okay. But the way, the way the world is looking at Russia, does I that think, help your PR? I think now it's kind of in trend. You yes, know, you're this, trendy. That's what this, I'm saying. This, That's what I'm trying to say. This style. I you, mean this style. Yeah. But 
I can't say that my art it's about this style like Gosha doing mm. or like this Russian typical uh, image about the, from the 19s. Mm. Uh, so but I can understand why it's interesting now mm. because maybe this socia- the society just um, mm, want to be closer to the simple people you know so yeah. like your neighbor yeah so and it's why it's popular because people think that fashion it's something more like chic and all stuff like this uh expensive and all stuff and i think that gosha just broke this uh broad this frame mm. and it's cool mm. but And I I saw them now at the Balenciaga. Yeah, did you, sh- you did you walk the show? Uh, I could walk, but you didn't. I didn't. Yeah, but I see how it's going inside. Why didn't you choose to walk the show? Uh, they just uh, cancelled me at the. Oh, they cancelled you. Yeah, it happens like. Sometimes. Oh shit! I see you were on option. About the look, you know, but yeah, 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 I understand yeah. because designer create their collection. Sure, you know, of course, you're a model. It's all part of it. Yeah, and I understand the designers like an artist, mm. so I'm not just questioning his vision. Rouge and something. Yes. So, what has been your highest point so far in modeling? What has been your greatest achievement or most enjoyable moment so far? The uh, biggest high. Mm. Every time I knew something interesting about modeling, so, and for example, when I was a teenager, I thinking that to be a Victoria's Secret model, it's the highest uh, dream that could be. But now I'm looking at this girl and I'm thinking that they should be the 24 hours perfect. So how they are talking, how their their behavior, they can't do something wrong because they are on the camera 24 hours, not like a fashion model, I think. Every people know them because they are celebrities. Social, social celebrities girls. And I just thinking, mm, would I want to mm, live like them, like a 24 hours on the camera? Mm. Uh, I will not have my private life. Mm. So, but like an artist, I need this uh, yes. space, you know. Mm, so so I, you're not going to... <laughs> that dream I, isn't I, so I, 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 impressive I ask, anymore. I asked my booker if I'm suitable for the Victoria's Secret and he told me that... He didn't you, you think will be, going... you'll be more, <laughs> you'll be more fashion, You'll be more fashion, fashion than that. Yeah. Which is good as well, because you can only be yourself and you're as cool as you are. I am. You know, because as as examples of female beauty as those Victoria's Secret girls are, cool is not is not wh- how you would define them. They're not defined by being cool girls. They're sexy girls, aren't they? Let's but, face but it. But I saw that they just um, broke the... Um, their rules i can oh yeah see. Who, who broke it uh because i saw a lot of the girls who now in victoria's secret and they are not just super um, sexy sexy type because they're not they are different they're different and it's cool there's diversity in victoria's secret now yeah you can see the show <laughs> was I that see. a real uh, break with with the past do you think i think yeah the past the move was more like a classic Oh, beauty, sexy, and now they are mostly getting qu- on quirky? the personality. Right. Yeah, I think that that's trend of the personality. It's influenced of different ways. Yes. It's not only about the um, fashion. It's like right. commercial stuff like uh, Victoria's too. So I okay. think it's, it's a good trend. Even. It's a good trend, absolutely. Yeah. It, it helps everybody and yeah. all individuals and diversity. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um. So what do you want to... What's next? I think uh, we will see how that is going. Because, I, to be honest, I want to try to work with the designer in the modeling, but working like an artist. I want to I wanna act, be, I wanna be something more more big, like not, not like only like a model. I want to be something 
bigger, you know. Do you want wanna, to design yourself? I want to maybe to work on some project like Creative a model, director. like a model and like an artist the both uh, side yes. because it's it's will be uh, totally deeply to the topic. Involved. I can understand the things better. Yep. Because a muse, become a mu a creative muse who has an influence on the designer and that you can work deeply with the designer in creating a, a world with. Yeah, like this because I can be a mod I can be modeling and I can also do some textile style because for example then I see how designers create their collection. Mm -hmm. I ask if you are influenced on this, on it and they tell me, Yeah, you're right. And we try to speak about this okay. and that and they really look at me on a different, different way. They are do looking at me like we are on the same level. Yeah. But if I will not talking with them about this, I will be like a model like one of yes exactly a lot of models exactly so it's like i thinking to look at on this way will be good for me and help to my art and modeling both so brilliant so you could envisage a uh, a career where those two things come together so and complement the, one the, another the cool the coolest stuff will be to do something mixful at the future so that i can say like this uh, it's amazing but I, I, I can't say that I want to, mm, I don't know, working only with this brand or that brand. So Or that magazine or that photographer. So You yeah, don't have any specific goals in that yeah. way. Okay, but you're enjoying it. Yeah. And what makes you particularly good? Why would I want to work with you? Apart from obviously the way you look and what you're giving in terms of your spirit and your style. But what makes you a good model? My or what, what makes a good model, full stop? But then you specifically, I think. I think the first is to be open and to be what you are. It's a typical stuff. I will not uh, tell something new. Mm. Uh, but people feel it. They really feel it that then you are playing like a fake or then you are really yourself yourself yeah so it's better to enjoy every moment so if it will be uh, great or not so just to keep the situation and try to the situation working for you and not against you so right like this so what would be the advice you would give to any young uh, up-and-coming model or you know wannabe model uh, that might be watching. Give, impart some wisdom. Okay, I can say that uh, then you are starting and then you are so young. Just understand what, try to understand what do you want to fit in at the modeling. Because uh, if it will be sight of the bodies and all these crazies, it's not about modeling, what I can say. And it's why better that I start than I was at 22. So I was not interesting about this kind of stuff. Uh, the second one is to be friendly, but to be yourself. Friendly is not about to, I need to create connection with all people because it will help uh, to my career and stuff like this. Because um, people who are working in it, they feel in that everybody want to do this kind of stuff and they want to be, they are just tired about this. So, and try to read more books, go into the gallery, just develop yourself because people work with people. So model, it's also the person. The whole person. The person, yeah. And at the lunch time, at the break, you will speak with people and if you will speak in just about how you spend your yesterday evening, so it's not interesting. Depending on what they were doing yesterday no, evening. I am <laughs> <laughs> it could. I mean, who knows? <laughs> if you're a Victoria's Secret model, yeah, yeah, maybe it might have been fun. But anyway, thank you so much for that. those words of wisdom. Thank what you. do you think is the meaning of life for you?
I know it's a, it's a big question, but what yeah. is your philosophy of life? Uh, yeah, it's a really hard question. Um, I think the, the main stuff is about then you live in this faster life just to not lose the main the the basic main stuff like to thinking about your career and lose your love mm -hmm. or just Balance. thinking about success and lose the happiness and not enjoying the life so because people thinking that oh i will build the career and after I will uh, be happy be happy yes yeah, sometimes but time it's go away and for example uh, people who are 40 and more and they have not family children love but they just sitting alone and remember how was cool their life then they was young it happens with the stars, so we can see that it happens with the musician, with all artistic people who just was at the top when they was young. And now they have super stressful and unhappiness life. And all, mm -hmm. everybody just forgot about them. Mm -hmm. So when I saw some videos about them, this kind of person on the Instagram, on the YouTube and Facebook, so be happy in, in all moments and not try to look for happiness outside of you or in an achievement, but try and be happy and appreciate the moment that Just, you're alive. The whole thing. I think all, all about love, I think. Yes. Just to try to find your person and if you found them, try to not lose them because life is so fast and... You will never know what will be with your success tomorrow. But the person who supports you all the time, then it's uh, your happiness or just your sadness uh, time. So, and this person will push you and keep the energy. So if you're falling down, you will race again. So, and it's more important that some fast success so let's find see. love find mm -hmm. life and be happy and be happy yeah it's all about beautifully put i think we lost i think it times out after a while yeah i think it has a limit but we <laughs> broke the internet so i'm very happy <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's finished the um, live stream the live stream's yeah. over so that's probably a good time to say goodbye and to thank you for the main interview and then i'll ask you some other questions now Thank you. But thank you so much today for coming and sharing so much of yourself and your story with thank us. Thank you for inviting me because it was super interesting, this kind of connection and improvisation because yeah. I didn't preparing. No, and it doesn't that. happen every day in what we do anyway. So it's different. It's something different. Yeah, and uh, it's cool to just do uh, stuff like this and to share. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mina. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye.